For Crema Media in Johannesburg, I'm Halima Frost. Today I'm speaking with Mindset Mining Consultants Managing Director Alan Gissing and Senior Mining Engineer Ronnie Van Eden regarding a recently completed longwall mining feasibility study conducted for energy and chemicals company Sasol. Alan, does the feasibility study envisage multiple scenarios for the implementation of longwall mining? And if yes, please describe each of them. Yes, it did. We, we looked at a, a few different scenarios for Sasol and ultimately it came out at a face length between 220 meters and 350 meters. Um, and that was to account for the geotechnical and the, geolo and the geological studies that went into, into the long wall study. Um, the other pertinent parts I think that we gave them was to negate the stopping of production during long wall moves. And we have recommended what we term a walk off, walk on scenario. So long wall production has two complete sets of face equipment and the production crew walk off the one face, walk onto the other one, and it becomes a continuous process. The benefits of also going from a 220 meter face to a 350 face length, which was our final recommendation, um, also reduced the chain road development or the development to install a long wall. And the difference between a 220 meter face um, layout and a, and a 350 meter face layout is approximately 30 kilometers of continuous minor development. Thank you. All right. And then on to Ronnie. Um, Ronnie, could you give a brief overview of the recommendations you offered Sassel? Yes, the first one was that Sassel should make their decision on whether they're going to mine the two uh, new mining blocks with CMs or long walls. Uh, as early as possible because there's a lot of preparation work required if they're going to go the long wall uh, method which we recommended <clears throat> and we also recommended that there's some additional geological exploration work and some additional geotechnical drilling and geotechnical work that needs to be done just to firm up on the, <clears throat> the mining layouts and the mining design uh, next, it was also uh, we recommended that they should do tests on the actual generation of the fine and the coarse coal between CMs and between long walls. And for that, we did get some information from the current mines doing long wall mining, but additional studies need to be done just to firm up on that because it is a fairly critical issue. Also, because of the long lead time <coughs> that they need to make the decision and then start with the designs uh, for the long wall because there's a long about two and a half to three year period if from the day you start or make your decision until you can eventually produce your first coal. The other thing is also in terms of that they need to start early in recruiting the right team. First the, the, the manager who would be in charge of the project manager and then all the required skills and competence because it is different to continuous minor mining and it's got a totally different culture. Combined with that, we actually recommended that if they can, where the long wall mines, that shaft and that mine is long walls only. Long walls with the two or three CMs associated with the development for it. That they don't mix in the same mine shaft, continuous minor mining and long wall mining. We also recommended that. And then also to look at the, the shift system because you basically mine 24 seven and how you mine that and how you set up your team to determine the amount of cutting time you have every shift, which obviously results in production. In terms of the financial and the costing, because this was a limited scope and we did get information from the actual suppliers that they need to do uh, to go out and get more firm quotes or costs on the actual long wall uh, equipment <clears throat> and our final finally it's our opinion that uh, Sassel should pursue the long wall mining option and commence with the planning for this as soon as possible. 